Many people have tried to turn a monkey into a family pet, but normally not a fully grown baboon. A 24-year-old baboon will now spend the rest of its life at a Jessman County Primate Center after being rescued from a Kenton County garage. Denny Treese has his story. The Primate Rescue Center in Jessamine County had plenty of chimpanzees and monkeys, but no baboons until they got a call from animal control authorities in Kenton County where there are strict laws against keeping wild animals as pets. We worked with them to, to identify what kind of an animal it was, and when we figured out that it was actually a rather large baboon being kept for the last 24 years in this garage, we were shocked. They bought her when she was five and a half months old, and as happens in every single case we come across, at some point she became not so cute and cuddly and was confined to this cage. Susie the baboon came here with some serious health issues. We confirmed that she is a type 2 diabetic. She has some sores that don't heal. She's got very bad teeth. And can't seem to gain weight no matter how much she eats. Just this past weekend, a TV program aired called My Monkey Baby that painted a very unrealistic picture of owning a primate as a pet. Most of those capuchins that they showed in that program were infants and under the age of one or two in most cases. And those that were older than that actually had all their teeth removed. Never under any circumstances at any time should these animals be pets or kept as pets. In the wild, they have a well-defined pecking order and they will fight to maintain their position in a human family. They go after the weaker family members, children if there are children in the family. In Jessamine County, Denny Treese, WKYT 27 News First. Well, there you go. For more information about the Primate Rescue Center of Jessamine County, just go to our web channel, WKYT.com.